Hi YouTube, this is a Your Zone bunk bed set I got for my son. Uh, we're gonna show y'all how to put it together. It seems like it's gonna be pretty easy. This is a nice sturdy frame. See like it the pieces. They feel like they're pretty good and all. Um, yeah, before we get into it though, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Post notification bell on all because I post almost every day and I do fitness. All right, we do other things over there too. But let's go ahead and put this bed together. All right, step one. You put B, C, and D together. There's two of them, so put them together times two. Number two screws, there's eight of them in a pack. You have the number one, you have 19 of them. Number two, no, there's 10, hold on, wait. Times eight. Man, hold on. There's 10, it's supposed to be 10. Let me make sure it's 10. We got them together, this is what they look like. And there's two of them. And that was four screws in there four screws in there, and two more screws, so there was 10. And by the way, if y'all hear something sounding a little rickety, it's our ceiling fan in my son's room, I gotta get that checked on. Um, yeah, it ain't that bad though, but that's what sound you're hearing, so let's, let's keep going. Hey, with this tool, it's a little ratchet, to go ahead and hook it up, you know what I'm saying? It's a little ratchet, ratchet. The wrench and wrench with a crescent wrench, you feel me? This is righty tighty lefty loosey. Um, how to use the ratchet, I already know that. We just did step one, so now we're on step two. We're going to have to attach the H in with a one, hold on, wait, one, with a one screw. It says four of them on there. Maybe they're just giving us extra screws. I'm gonna make sure I keep the screws. You do not want to be missing anything. One screw. Oh, wait. Oh, so you're going to need four for this. You got screws left for later on. Oh, okay, yeah. Because there's 19 of them. Of course, they're giving us that many extra screws. I can see the two if we're missing it. You know what I'm saying? Two. So you put those in there. See what that does. So what you do is you focus. My phone has not been focused on that. Find the H. This is what the H piece looks like. Find that. Y'all got that done. After you put the H pieces, there's going to be like this. Um, also, excuse the mess. The mess is from the bed. I just had to throw that out there. Shouldn't have to, but people are like, yo, house dirty. Dog, we assembling the bed, bro. Like, man, come on, man. So, <laughs> okay, that was step two. Yeah. That's step two. So step three will be putting these up. The A, the A. My thing is, A should have been these. These should have been A, B, C, alphabetical order. Why use alphabets that they ain't gonna be in order? Riddle me that. There might be a reason. Anybody know the reason? Comment below. But uh, stay tuned because we we ain't nowhere near done. We got we got. This is a bunk bed. Also, I'm gonna show you what kind of mattress. Stay tuned for what kind of mattress. The mattress didn't come with the bed. So stay tuned. Matter of fact, it's probably in the title, so you probably already know. Stay tuned anyways, man. Hey, full view, man, give me that. Oh, uh, insert A into these holes right here. Bam, how many A's is it, four? Yeah, of course, duh, and J, I. So those are two different things. So I gotta make sure I be careful towards the inside, holes towards the inside to make sure the screws, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to have to be taking things apart. You want to put it together the right way, the first way. What screws are we using? Okay, that's step three. It's gonna be on the next page. Hold on, we're gonna to get to size one, same screws. Okay, cool. All the screws came in different bags and stuff, so you know what I'm saying? Make sure we ain't losing nothing. Sure, where's them other two screws that I gotta find those? But yeah, man, let's go. Okay, here's your A pieces. There's four of them. This is what it looks like. Bam! Make sure you put them in right. Problem. That hole right there doesn't have a hole. The thing I'm thinking is 
Maybe that shares a hole with that. They didn't put it in the, uh, right there. Focus right there on that screw right there. I don't know because it looks like it. Hold on, let me show you. The screw's supposed to go to the inside. See how it looks like it might. I'm gonna look through it, but maybe they made a mistake on the things. But I don't think that's supposed to just be in there without being screwed, especially the fact that there's a hole right there. You know, that'd be unsafe for the top bunk to. Hmm. I don't know. Let's look at the next thing first. Insert lower bunk one is shown in that hole. Like I said, I don't know. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to put that screw in yet. Maybe I have to take that one out. Upper screw unscrewed until okay. See, I'm smart. Told you that's what I was supposed to do. People were like, Man, that don't look like what I'm glad ain't nobody here with me because people no, no, no. <laughs> it take you three hours to do something because people think they, that you need their permission to do something that you think you need to do, and they don't be knowing either, especially when it's stuff like fitness. All right, people that ain't lost no weight, not not this, and I used to weigh almost 300 pounds, I weigh 160 right now. People ain't lost no weight. I'm 115 pounds less. I used to be 275, right? I'm 160. 115 pounds under what I used to be. We're going to go ahead and do that. But people be like, you shouldn't lose weight. Like, lost it. You shouldn't gain. I'm bigger and buffer than you at a lower body weight, which means body fat percentage, bro. I'm a professional at that, but I ain't a professional at this. But we're going we gonna to get it together. I knew it was supposed to be that screw that I said. I'm going to take that out. And I got it out. Bam, you see how that fits right there? Put it back in. Told you, I'm a G. Y'all, this is what it looks like with the thing standing up. I still got a ways to go. I'm saying I still got all that to do, all them things right there. Hopefully it don't be hard. Hopefully, I mean, you know, I got the base down. Time is done. Come go your bed. It's not done? Nothing. Man, I thought he was going to black on, man. He's J and I. Where's that L? No, because these are capital letters. That would have been an I. J and I. They're different. I guess one is the head piece. One goes towards the wall and one goes towards the other part. So I got to make sure I know. He's flipping his bed around. Heck no. Nah. All right, y'all. There are pieces I and J. Bam. Bam, and I guess they just slide on top and then you put screws in them. Easy enough. But let me see if there's any difference. I put them on top of each other. I don't really see a difference. I don't really see a difference, so it probably shouldn't matter. Just got this right here. Do not remove this label. Wow. I guess that'll be towards the wall, but those screw holes is that's cute. How they gonna tell me not to remove? I ain't gonna do it, but. I'm gonna tell you what to do with my stuff while I'm bought. You know what I'm saying? Got those pieces in and put all the screws in there. Hopefully, I don't have to take them out for something. You know what I'm saying? And if I do, hopefully, it'll be a very inconvenient thing. The other ones I had to took out and put back in wasn't that bad. But uh, step five connect, attach E and F with bolt three and nut four three and four. So it's two of those and two of those that I'm gonna need for this. So I'm gonna have to put those together like that. Is it two of those? No, this is on one side of the bed probably, I don't know. I'm gonna probably look at the box. I'm guessing that it would have said times two if it had been on both sides. Like the other one says times two, remember? On the ones that I thought I had. Yeah, so those didn't say times two. Oh, I think I know exactly what it is. That's one side, the other side gonna be different because the other side gotta have a ladder. Yup, see, that hole has to be for the ladder. Okay, so that's that one side. Let's go put that together. See me, I'm smart. That's side six, see that? I guess that's what that is. Yeah, G, yup. All right, let's go ahead and put together E and F. E and F, put them together, and then you got nut, Two, no, not four. 
see that four it has a four on there whatever you probably can't see it and well screw three they say bolt three and nut four yeah we put them together like that in between them little holes or whatever right there pick up pick up what they look like but I'm gonna throw in a tip, a pro tip. I give pro tips in every video, no matter what the video is about. Make sure you don't lose none of your screws, nuts, bolts, nothing. Because you need every one. I'm pretty sure they don't have no extra. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't lose none. I ain't trying to order nothing. and I'm trying to have this up tonight. You know what I'm saying? And post a video on the same night. You feel me? That's how we do over here, Reverend Jump and this man, on time. We might not have quality videos, but we give it to you when you need them. And we give you the information you need. Ain't a whole bunch of flash and drones. I don't got no Lamborghini. I make a video about bicep curls, but all you see is, okay, two sets of whatever. And then my Lamborghini. I don't have that. But the bigger fitness YouTubers, that's what they fitness YouTubers do. They don't about fitness. No, this is how you get a big back. Uh, Lamborghini. Come on, man. Quick. Shoot. I got it together, but... I just noticed, I'm looking at the holes right there, the amount of holes, one up there and two down here. The two down here indicates that, dun, dun, dun. Before I'm gonna have to take the, I wasn't even supposed to put none of the screws in. Um, it's the same thing like I did before on the bottom. I have to take that one screw out, I'm gonna have to take all them screws out, which ain't hard, but I'm just saying, man, God dang, I'm trying to get done. All right, y'all, that's what it looks like. I ain't done yet, still gotta put all those rails and everything else. That's the little hole for the ladder. Um, yeah, but let's let's get into something real important. Looking at this, um safety for most of us is like common sense, but you know that's why they put this up here. Cause let me get the baby. Alright, it says never attach anything to the bunk bed, ropes and hooks and stuff like that. Also don't be having more than one person on the top bunk. Um, also, uh, mattress does not exceed six inches. Also, I don't know if I just said that, I just had to handle a baby and come back. Um, don't be horse playing, all right? This ain't no toy, this a, is a big. You know what I'm saying? Guardrails. Make sure also assist on about age. Oh, six years and up, under. Never allow a child six years, under six years old on the upper bunk because they probably don't understand danger as much. They probably don't understand that they up here and they can bust and get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So it's in other languages too. So let's get back to making it, man. I'm, I'm tired, man. Do not. That's why you don't remove the label. Just in case. I guess if you resell the bed or whatever. I don't know. I ain't reselling the bed. I still won't take it off though because my kid can read. I want him to read that. Like, hey, you see what it said? Step eight, insert N into M. And I guess M is that um, clamp plug into the end hole, hole it in. Okay, click is hard, you got here, click. Lock the plug of socket until click is hard, okay. That is these right here, I guess. No, that's not that. Hold on, wait. These are M's. There's some more M's. How I many M's we need? Oh, that's gonna be like that. Okay, yeah, that's gonna give some sturdiness. You know what I'm saying? To the bed. Make sure you hear that click. Gotta hear that click or it ain't on. You know what I'm saying? Anytime something says hear a click, you gotta hear a click. Ends are those rods. There's 44 of them, 22 of those. Gonna be top and bottom, of course. They look identical, so let's see. And I guess they go in them little holes all the way across. That's where they go. Ends, and of course that's not enough. I guess those are ends too. I'm just making sure they the exact thing. Nope, these are Z's. <laughs> I was just kidding. But these are ends. But of course I knew that, but you gotta remember you're putting this in for your kid. And for your kid's safety, you wanna make sure that the bed is actually put up as right as possible, all right? So you do not need to be taking no shortcuts, all right? Don't be playing. The rods have a little hole. It says, insert them into the hole. Where did it say that? Right there, the plug into the hole. You see the little plug? 
Make sure that goes in the hole. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I don't see what they talk about. Oh, they talk about that little, okay. Yeah, okay, that goes in the hole. Yeah, okay. And you push this down so a click is hard. I guess you do that all the way through. And I decided to do the top first because if I did the bottom first, I wouldn't go better to do the top. You know what I'm saying? Just common sense. You know, I, I don't even know if it's in a book. I'm gonna look through it again, but I'm doing the top first. Just makes more sense. I can crawl under there and do the bottom. I did the top side. I gotta do the bottom. Um, fun fact is that this was kind of hard to do after a few of them. And like, you might need to take a break. And also, um, if you're not comfortable with doing the assembly yourself, and you think you're gonna mess up, remember your kid has to get on this bed. So, you know, I gotta go under there. I'm gonna also look under there. And also that's why I did the, the top first and not the bottom. Cause just imagine if I did the bottom, right? And then would've all been down there instead of up here. How would I got these up here? You know what I'm saying? I had to go piece by piece by and work my way this way. So I'm gonna have to do it the same way. Work over there, then work my way this way. Also, these things was kind of hard at the end. Like you might want to take a break, but I didn't. I'm a workout dude, so at the end of the day, I ain't taking no breaks. I want to get done. I don't think they said put the um, top first, then the bottom, but I used my own intuition on that one. Um, sometimes this is what you got to do. I mean, with anything. I mean, that's how I learned to get fit like I did, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see my physique updates. Matter of fact, people that's new, that's just been watching me for this bed, y'all really gotta go through my fitness stuff, man. I'm gonna link some stuff below, you know what I'm saying? But uh, my fit physique updates, cooking videos, um, how to count your calories, just type in rapid time fitness and anything that got something to do with fitness and then I got it. Bench press, deadlift, squat, how to lose weight, how to da 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 You think of it, it's on there. I got thousands of videos. But, um, yeah, man, it's almost done. I gotta put the ladder on. That's the ladder. That should be easy enough. K and L, put them together with the bolts and da 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 da. So that's step 11, 12. 12 is just gonna be, I'm gonna still show y'all me putting the ladder on too. So, 200, and, 200 pounds on the upper bulk, 225 on the bottom. You know, my son, I don't even think he's 50. If he is, he barely, but I'm just saying, like, that's grown man weight right there. I, I weigh 160, so I can be on this bed. I'm just saying, like, be careful, though. That weight limit is there for a reason. Also, completely tighten all the hardware. You got to make sure, you know, post to the wall, position post to the wall, drill holes on the wall insert. What? Oh, what, what do you mean? Wall fixings. Oh, okay, I get it. Wall mounting fixings. This unit must be fixed to the wall. Oh, okay, that's what those O-rings were for. Okay, that's cool. We will have to figure that out. We might not be able to. Hmm. Make sure there's no pipes. Okay, I get it. We got all that. But no, honestly though, they tripping. Cause they could have put that on a box. We'd do it, but I rent this place. They better not say nothing. <laughs> they could have put that on a box. These are silk masonry walls. If you, I did a construction, so I know what all that is, so. They should have said that on the bottom, on the front, outside. You gonna make somebody spend two hundred dollars on something? Well, if I couldn't use this, yo, they don't care about nothing but money, man. Tripping. My feelings, I ain't telling nobody how to feel about nothing, or nothing like that. So you know what I'm saying? I'm, I can say how I feel. I feel like that's kind of messed up. Maybe I ain't. You know what I'm saying? You got hammer and. The bed is pretty much done. I'm not going to um, put the ladder on because I'm debating or maybe he can sleep on the bottom bunk, put the mattress on. He's not sleeping on that top bunk until we um, I get a bunk bed for one kid. 
Cause he wanted a bunk bed. I, I always wanted a bunk bed. You know, I couldn't get no bunk bed. So I like to give my son things that I couldn't get. So I mean, it, it, it don't have to make sense to you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep him safe. So try to figure out what to do with mounting it to the wall. Um, probably ask my landlord or whatever. Oh man, that's bull crap. I mean, that's messed up, man. They could have said on the box. I'm gonna show you what mattress I got though. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a twin size bed. So it needs a twin size mattress. Uh, yeah, man, it's sturdy. It feels sturdy, but at the end of the day, like I said, mount against the wall. You know, up top, that thing tap over, well, bam. Gotta remember safety first. You know what I'm saying? I'm debating on whether you should sleep on the bottom. Probably not. You know what I'm saying? He got a bed. What we got is the six inch, like they said on the box, twin size mainstay mattress in a box. It opens up when you open it. This is an actual mattress too. And a lot of people probably never seen mattresses like that, but I had one a long time ago. I mean, they're, they're kind of common, I think, I don't know. Cushion top layer support, comfort, fits any twin size bed. Compress instantly, um, mattress opens up. But bam, tempered co um, steel coils, one year limited warranty, warranty, foam layer, plush contour layer, da 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 da. I don't care about all that. The ma dang mattress. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know, but you already know, if you already know, if it don't apply, let it fly. But for those who don't know, this is actually a mattress and it's like wrapped up. It's an actual mattress. It's a real mattress. It's in a ball. How did they do that? Some machine. I don't, I don't know how they do it. It's not hand done. No, no. Even I can't do that. And I'm rapid time fitness. Y'all done seen me do all kinds of stuff in the gym. Max 525, 545 deadlift a long time ago. Not lately. Uh, 455 squat. Long time ago, definitely not lately. I done lost that. I gotta get it back. 365 bench press. Long time ago, not lately. But I do have it on video. And uh, mass moves mass. I went 160. Why are we talking about fitness right now? Because I had to clear things up. When I was like 230, that was no problem. I went 160. Never mind, man. I will explain that in my fitness video. So if you want to learn the stuff that I'm talking about that you don't know what you're talking about, watch my videos, man. Let's see what we do with this mattress. Over. Heard a little bit, y'all do not understand. I am really tired dealing with that dang bed. It wasn't that hard. It shouldn't be that hard for you if you get one, because I showed y'all. But um, yeah, man, take yourself back apart. That I when I messed up, I made mistakes. It wasn't the bed, you know, but it was me. I still don't like the fact that they didn't say that I had to mount the thing on the. Mmm, man, that's a mattress. Guess I have to cut it open and let it expand. That's a mattress. It is a mattress. Okay, all new material. Do not remove a law. Hey, back in the 80s, a lot of cartoons and stuff was like, you know what I'm saying? If you remove the tag on the uh, bed, <laughs> you go to jail. People was getting locked up on cartoons. Animation. Funny. Fiction. But yeah, man, all new material. That's good, man. You know why? Because, man, all types of stuff be on beds. So I don't want no recycled bed. I don't care what they done to a bleach, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Let's go start. Let's try it. Listen. Hear it? This thing don't bust me. <sighs> See it's getting bigger. I'll stay back. I don't know what it's gonna do. I had one of these a long time ago. I'm gonna have to take that plastic off too. Man, I'm scared. I wish I had a camera, man. I can't do everything. I'm trying to film and trying to do. Ha! Ah, Y'all ain't gonna see the magic, man. Look, see it? Trying to move. I just put a hole in it. I was gonna cut all this plastic off. Stay back, Thomas. I ain't gonna do nothing, but still, I'm shoot. 
I'm a, I'm a careful guy, man. Very careful. In the gym, out of the gym. Y'all heard that? I heard a spring, too. Yeah, it's air. It's air in it. But it's not an air mattress. It's actually... It's actually, yeah, actually a mattress. Smart buddy. Tell me, man. I teach my son well. It's not an air mattress. Everything got air in it. You got air in you. You know what I'm saying? This is a spring coil, regular mattress. Yeah, that's not an air mattress. Not an air mattress. It look like an air mattress. No, it don't. It look like one now, kind of, but when it get done, it's going to be, you know what don't I'm saying? Crush me. It'll crush you if you let it. Now stay back. I don't think it's going to try to crush us, though. Even got a little gel silicone packet in there. Silica. Do not eat dub. Or yeah, you gotta put things on signs like that, cause people, you know what I'm saying? People be doing some stuff, man. Yeah, crush you, buddy. No, they'll crush you. Oh, you don't want me to get crushed? I don't want to get crushed. Come on. Hear that? Those are springs popping. Pop, 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 pop. I don't know if I should try to take this whole thing off. I don't know, man. He don't really need no plastic on his bed. He don't do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still though, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he's sleeping on that thing tonight or not, because at the end of the day, like I said, mounting it to the wall. I think that, I think that uh, the bottom bunk will be safe, but I am extra. Y'all see me in the gym. I don't like no distractions. If I feel like it ain't safe, if I feel like I can't lift it, I won't lift it. A lot of people, oh, I just muscle through it. That's not how you build muscles. That's how you get hurt. Pain and gain is not the same thing, bro. No matter what the contrary belief is. Hey, if you ain't got more gains than me, don't try to tell me nothing. If you ain't lost more weight than me, don't tell me nothing. People will do that, though. People will train you. They'll come and ask you for advice. And before you can answer that, they start giving you advice. Like, dog, what part of the game is that? Oh, you see that? Boom, 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 boom. Boom! How about that? That's done. It says six inches. That don't look like. Yeah, I might have to take this plastic off. To get the full. That's the final product. Um, we're gonna decide later on if we wanna take that plastic off or not. I got the plastic in on my bed. I'm from the old school. We learned from our grandmas and stuff. You know, my grandma phew, used to have plastic on the couch, everything, brand new, everything, boy. You better not even spill nothing on the plastic. <laughs> Here's the actual final product. You know what I'm saying? Sonic the Hedgehog. And plus, I like this blanket because not only does it only have the uh, the original characters. Of course, Knuckles came later on, but Sonic, Tails, then Tails came. Then you know they don't have all the extra characters. I don't even know who they are really. I didn't re-follow really after all that. At the Sega Genesis, there's only a few other ones. Silver. But this one, like, look. A reversible. So it got that on the other side. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? It came with a sheet, too. I think so. I'm going to hook that up. I just wanted to show y'all what that looked like. This was a whole set. Matter of fact, I did a review of it. So, yeah. Yeah, if you liked the video, if you ain't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. If you ain't liked already, hit the like button. And if you want to leave a detailed comment, whether you um whatever but uh also if you want to see the video we did before about this i'm gonna link it below it was the fail i'm gonna put fail i'm gonna put a link put a link in the description and i'm gonna pin the comment and i'm also gonna do my latest physique update 
in the comments and the link in the description. You pick or choose which one you want to go to. Click on those if you made it this far in the video. But stay tuned. There's many, plenty much more to come. And yeah, man. Peace.